Excitement in the Parisian air. We're at the Parc des Princes here in the French capital. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Sporting. Well, Derek, it's said that semi-finals are the best games to win and the worst to lose. And while the hosts are clear favourites, I still think this could be a great match. Full of individual battles, a lot of passion and great skill as well. Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Angel Di Maria starts with Lionel Messi in the wide midfield positions. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. Here's the lineup for Sporting. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill, and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. Champions League semi-final first leg now there to intercept Hakimi this is looking threatening let's fly here oh a smart stop Taking the corner, Di Maria. And the danger is averted. Di Maria. Messi waiting to pounce. Pablo Sarabia. And Palinha with it. And won by Verratti. Lionel Messi! Brilliant save. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. Can he put them in front? And it was a wonderful chance. But the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper. But surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And fired over by Angel Di Maria. Well, he would love to have that header back. And it's Messi going forward. What's he going to do next? Di Maria. Here's Mbappe. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Well, tremendous block. Hakimi. Gives it a go. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. 
Jorginho Wijnaldum. Verazzi now. Under Herrera. Mbappe. Happy to take on the shot. A PSG corner it is, and potentially an opportunity. Who's going to get on the end of it? On a corner like that, every goalkeeper's dream, really. Paulinho. Can they hit on the break? But they took care of the situation defensively. Messi. Nicely cut out. Palinha. Zuhair Fedal. And Palinha with it. Sporting with acres of space out wide. And Sporting doing well to regain control of the ball. Ruben Vinagre. Pablo Sarabia. A lot to like about this Sporting move. Palinha. Well, can they open up the defence here? He's using his strength to good effect. No-nonsense clearance. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Well, here's something we don't say terribly often. Lionel Messi has been a long way from his best. Not making his mark in this game, Stuart. Well, it's not been a great performance from him today, but can he just find that spark? We know he's a good player, but not on today's performance. He just hasn't looked a threat. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Messi. Mbappe with it. And Messi! Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. He just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. So Sporting get the ball rolling again, and the onus is on them to erase the damage done by that concession. And Sporting looking creative here. And let's give credit to the defending. Hakimi. Mbappe. Di Maria. And here's Herrera. A chance to whip it in. Mastery of the passing game. Ronaldo, effort from long distance, and blocked for now. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Now sending it in. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Herrera. Well read to ease the pressure. Thirty minutes to go then. 
Pedro Gonzalves. They do pass the ball with authority. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. PSG looking dangerous. And Lionel Messi has turned infield. Real chance. In it goes. He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. And sporting in a position of potential menace. Pressure on to clear his lines. 20 minutes remaining. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Well, they have it again. Di Maria keeps going. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Chance to cross. Useful looking ball. And never in any doubt from the keeper. Di Maria. And crossing here, Di Maria. Well, he didn't miss by all that much with the header. Just a little bit off target. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Pablo Sarabia regained possession. Excellent ball over the top and possession given away. Coates. And the ball with Pedro Gonzalves. Sarabia. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game. And this could be a dramatic finale. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. So, two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. And forward they go, chasing the game. Just the clearance that was needed. And that is that. The referee blows the full-time whistle. And a night for the home fans to enjoy, certainly. They won't be getting totally carried away, but the home side with the advantage going into the return leg. Well, they'll be pleased with that victory, but it's a slender lead they're taking into the second leg. And I think they'll be confident, but it's going to be tight, that's for sure. He's really quiet. He usually buzzes around everywhere, Lionel Messi. What did you make of what he actually did out there on the pitch? Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.